Students at the University de Montréal came under fire recently. A group of them dressed up in blackface at a sporting event were caught on video. CTV was the one that first broke the story. Some called it a prank. Others said it was an example of insensitivity or out-and-out -out racism. The students were at HEC, and Jacques Nantel is the Secretary General of HEC. He joins us now. So, you know, your organization has said that you don't feel there was a racist intent here. I know that's the point you really want to be clear. A uh, question, though, is it is there a danger of sort of excusing this away as a prank or a stunt and, and sort of not getting to the root cause of this? How, how would the university oh, characterize it's, this? Oh, it's certainly not our intention. The thing is very serious. We were taking it very seriously. It's really not a matter of how what, what the only intent was. It really is a matter of how it was perceived. If the whole thing offended only one person, that's enough. And, and, and certainly we're going to take the occasion to make sure that we are conveying the right values to our students. Uh, in the video, you can hear one of the participants saying in French, uh, on a vrai black, we mm -hmm. have a real black person yeah. with us. Uh, how would you characterize that? Oh, that, you know, that certainly would be racism. As long as I'm concerned, uh, this is totally, totally unexcusable. Uh, you know, change, change the place, change the name, change the race. The whole thing is offensive by nature. And, uh, and again, it's certainly something that we don't want to convey to our students, neither th th those coming in nor the ones that will be coming in in next years. What message does it send? And I know that you're trying to say that this is unacceptable, but, I mean, at least when the story broke, what message does it send, let's say, to a black person? Person who might be considering going to HRC or another minority. Mm -hmm. What's the message to them when they see this video? Oh, basically that there's a lot of brushing up and it probably is something which is even more fundamental than that. Uh, you got you got to realize that those are incoming students and, and we're going to have them with us for three years. And those incoming students, by the way, are not coming only from, from Montreal. As a matter of fact, in our undergrad program, we are, we are welcoming students coming from 28 countries. Basically, those are 19-year-old students. It doesn't excuse for any stupid move, but it certainly shows shows that there's a lot of improvement, then certainly that uh, we, can, we can contribute to that improvement. HSA is a world-class institution, sure and yep. your student body comes from uh, countries everywhere, yep. internationally. So this is, is, is you know, a bad PR. It certainly is bad PR for everyone, and 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 it, again, it is offensive. And uh, you know, I, I certainly want to carry all the apologies of our school and of our student body. Uh, again, it it is certainly is a, uh, a an occasion for us to to uh, to not only to rethink our proce procedure and our process, but also the values that we want to convey. And what do you guys do uh, to stop this from happening again? Well, we do have a code of discipline, so we're going to be we're going to be looking at who's responsible for the whole thing. But a code of discipline is not the only thing that is at stake here. Uh, there's a there's also an issue about the monitoring of the whole thing, and certainly it's not all the uh, students' fault. Uh, we we have also to revise our own procedure just to make sure that those things don't happen again. Real quick, will any students be punished in any way? They could be punished. Uh, I you know as long watch the video. I, I got to watch the video. I got to make sure that uh, of course we are singling out. The the real responsible uh, because it's it's a group action. Uh, but but again, yeah. If 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 uh, some some have to be punished, they will be punished. Yeah. Mr. Nantel, thank you very much for coming. Pleasure, today. really. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a story that's made its way around the world. You've heard what the university had to say. What do you think? On Talk Back Montreal today, was the blackface stunt by the students an act of racism or not? Let us know by calling 514-790-1212 or go to our website, ctvmontreal.ca. We will have the results on CTV News tonight at 6 o'clock.